Hey folks, how are we doing? It's Mr. Carter here. We're going to do Home Link 613. Go ahead and put your name on this if you haven't yet already, and let's begin. So, uh, <clears throat> we're asked to solve these number stories. We can use drawings, words, or equations to represent the problems. Uh, so, let's go ahead and take a look. So, we got five vans that were needed for a camp field trip, and there were nine children per van. How many children went on the field trip? Well, we're going to look into uh, the words first. So we're going to say, okay, well, we would need five groups of nine children. Uh, and the addition equation for that would be nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. That's five groups of nine. One, two, three, four, five. And that would equal, of course, 45. Because we know that five times nine equals 45. So you could draw this out with five boxes. And each with nine students per box. And to save us some time, uh, I'm not going to do all the boxes, but you would see here nine students per each would be uh, 45. So again, how many children went on, our, on the field trip? That would be 45 total children. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at this one. So we have Penny and her two friends. So that's where it gets a little tricky here. Each ate one-sixth of a cake. How much cake did they eat? So we have Penny and her two friends. So if you didn't read that carefully, you would probably just go two times one six, right? Or two groups of one six, but really it's Penny and her two friends. So that's a total of three groups of one six. So our addition equation would be one six plus one six plus one six. Now we know that when we have fractions with the same denominator, we just got to add our numerator. So it's going to be one, two, three. Sixth. So our multiplication equation here would be 3, again, times 1, 6, and we know that's going to equal 3, 6. So if I was to draw this, I would draw a cake, a round cake that looks like that, and then I would draw it uh, 6 slices per cake. So half here, 3 slices in one half three slices in the other, and then we know that each friend has one six, so that's one piece of the cake. That would be one cake. So let me go back here. We need to draw actually three cakes. I'm not sure if you can see my third cake here. Because they ate each one sixth of a cake. So we're gonna have three cakes here, and they're each gonna have one-sixth of each one. So you can see here there's one, two, three, six here. So that's how we would accurately draw that. So again, it's they ate one-sixth of a cake. So that's one-sixth of one cake here. So that's what that looks like. <clears throat> okay. Number three. So we have uh, Christopher who wants to give his four friends three-fifths of a veggie pizza each. How much veggie pizza will he need? Well, we're going to need four groups of three-fifths. So what that looks like as an addition equation is three-fifths plus three-fifths. That's two groups. This would be three groups of three-fifths. And one more group of three-fifths. And that equals... Again, with fractions with like denominators, we just got to add our numerators. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12 fifths. And that is a top heavy or improper fraction. Um, and we'll turn that into a uh, mixed number right now. So we can say, all right, well, I know that it's going to be two holes because two uh, holes would be uh, 10 fifths. And then we would have two fifths left over. So our multiplication equation would be 4 times 3 fifths, and that would equal 12 fifths, or 2 and 2 fifths. Alright, so let's draw that out. 
So uh, four, um, he wants to give his four friends three-fifths of a veggie pizza each. So we're going to have four total pizzas. One, two, three, four. <coughs> each pizza will need to be split into five slices. So I'm going to make my fifths and look like that, kind of like a star. When I make fifths, I start out like with a peace sign, and then I cut those here like that. They're not exactly perfect, but it'll give us the gist of the, the idea. So now each friend is getting three fifths. So there we go. So one, two, three fifths. One, two, three fifths. One, two, three fifths. One, two, three fifths. So again, that's three, six, nine, twelve fifths total. Or if we were to put that into a whole number and uh, mix them, that would be two and two fifths. Okay, so let's go down to our practice. Our practice we're asked to uh, divide. So we're gonna just, I'll do number four for you and you're gonna do five and six on your own. So we have 84 divided by six. I'll go ahead and make my partial quotients here. So I'm going to start with 10. 10 times 6 is 60. And then I'm going to go ahead and take away uh, 60 from 84. That's 4. You take away 6 is 2. That's 24. Well, I know that 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm going to go 4. And again, 6 times 4 is 24. That brings us to our magnificent glory is zero, there's nothing left, so now we're going to add our side thing. 10 plus 4 is 14, so our answer is 14. All right, go ahead and do 5 and 6 on your own, see how you do with that. Um, if you have questions, please come see me.